name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing Jupiter in Leo. But before I do, I wanted to tell, let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Jupiter and Leo people have an optimistic and enthusiastic zest for life that is matched by few others, and they can enjoy things in a very big way. They like to identify themselves with the larger arenas of action in life because they're not that interested in anything small or petty. These people have a strong sense of honor and quite possibly even nobility. They like to keep the best of good moral intentions for the sake of their own self-respect. These people enjoy their pleasures in life and love parties, laughter, leisure and especially playtime. They usually have tons of wonderful creative abilities and are very fond of opulent displays. They have a natural affinity for children since they still retain all of their childhood enjoyment of play themselves and they love to introduce children to all kinds of wonderful and magical things in life. They love to help children open up to the world and explore it with a grand passion. By nature, these people are very kind-hearted, warm, and very affectionate. When negatively expressed, these people are capable of huge self-inflation, arrogance, and egotistical superiority. Because of this, they can be overbearing at times and often highly moralistic with a strong need to impose their own views on other people. This is done by interrupting them and overriding them in conversations in an imperiously regal manner. They do this because they feel that they know what is best for themselves and for others. Because of this imperious arrogance, they believe that others are simply not worth listening to. They have an overriding belief that they are never wrong about anything, which often leads them to jump to conclusions in a lazy and over-general general way. If they have ever actually proven to be wrong by someone, they are like, highly likely to explode. These explosions are likely to take the form of childlike tantrums and huge, overblown temper tantrums. When negatively expressed, there's a strong possibility of going overboard with gambling and other speculative ventures. They are often very careless about the possible results. This same pattern is found in their love relationships, which can be a fair number as they seek self-gratification through the use of others. When positively expressed, the Jupiter and Leo person produces a steady, stable person with wonderful honesty and a quiet self-confidence that needs no outer support. These people have a wonderful radiance of faith, of trust that is contented with a simple life. Their riches being found in the giving of themselves to others. These people will often gravitate towards a leadership position through their steadfastness and reliability and their capacity to take the larger and creative overview of the situation. Coupled with their readiness to enter the bigger arenas of life with confidence and self-reliance, these people are fully capable of organizing on very large and opulent scales but they are probably best where economy is not a requirement. When negatively expressed, the Jupiter and Leo person can hog all of the glory for achievements and very conveniently forget to give credit where credit is due. The negative expression of Jupiter and Leo is often puffed up with their own importance, boastful, domineering, and they like to spend money in a big way on luxuries and entertainments. Often the negative expression of Jupiter and Leo has health issues because they won't exercise and will overeat and drink too much. They are constantly in debt and constantly boring from friends. They can be social climbers that are blinded by appearances and affectation. They have a love of glamour and everything that is gaudy, ostentation and very often phony, which makes them easy to deceive. 
When positively expressed, the Jupiter and Leo person will use their natural organizational abilities to serve others less fortunate than themselves. And so, they can be extravagant or generous, overbearing or dignified, demanding or altruistic, depending on the degree which egocentricity is expanded into the understanding of human needs. Jupiter and Leo can be summed up in a single word, nobility. Either the Jupiter and Leo person will want to be considered an aristocrat, or there will be the elevation of character which marks the spiritual aristocrat, whose position is shown by a sense of nobility in all ways. These people are well suited for executive work, especially in government service fields or in large, well-established enterprises of all kinds. Jupiter and Leo denotes the self-assured leader who instinctively considers himself one of the elite of this life. They have the natural ability to behave as nobility, no matter what their roots are, and so can inspire others, which may ultimately end with a great deal of wealth and prestige. These people know how to make a good impression, but they need to make sure that they can also deliver. Jupiter and Leo people can be very jovial and benevolent, but also a bit ponderous. If they are attracted to religion, they would prefer denominations whose rituals involve a certain degree of pomp, dignity, and ceremony. Philosophically speaking, these people tend towards the optimistic belief that the nature of man is constantly improving and that the world itself is progressing towards a higher state of existence. These people are highly artistic and creative by nature. They can produce lengthy books, dramatic music, flamboyant paintings, massive statues, and wonderfully, wonderful spectacular shows. They are very conscious of appearances and have richly conservative tastes. Some of these people can be snobs whose, understand, who under, whose understated simplicity of dress and manner is more intimidating than ornate and flamboyant styles. Jupiter and Leo people have leadership abilities, and they embrace expansionistic policies without being radical. How this is achieved is that they will present their ideas as the natural product of their own exceptional wisdom and foresight into a matter that they have expected to be rewarded with a position of responsibility. They do not mind at all about being a figurehead. But above everything, they want their life to count for something in the larger scheme of things. And so, they will work hard in order that the world will notice their contributions. Everything about the Jupiter and Leo person is expansive and very probably expensive. Sometimes this can degenerate into them becoming a slave to their own grandiose ambition in life to be the wealthiest, best dressed, most popular or influ influential person around. When positively expressed, Jupiter and Leo people are generous, warm-hearted and very interested in seeing justice done for their fellow humans. These people tend to make an impact for good on the world at large and to be remembered with genuine affection. Their ambitions in life are truly unlimited, and everything they try is on a very grand scale. Jupiter and Leo people enjoy their comforts and luxuries and are basically extravagant by nature. They seem to feel that these wonderful goodies are their natural-born right in this life. These people have an innate sense of purpose in life, a general feeling of being directed by powers greater than themselves. It's inevitable that the Jupiter and Leo person will rise to a position of authority at some point in their lives and revel in all the honors and privileges that this position confers. They have excellent executive abilities and are particularly well suited for, for high government office work in large, well-established public companies. They have dash, loads of self-confidence, good humor, and a wonderful sense of the dramatic. Employees respect and admire these people and ins they inspire loyalty in others, possibly even a kind of hero worship, 
which can make superiors jealous. Jupiter and Leo people possess a natural flair for art as well as a genuine love of it. Their artistic preferences, whether they take the form of color, sound, or shape, reflect either the flamboyant and spectacular or the richly conservative with nothing in between. They know precisely what they like and don't like. They are rarely confused or undecided in anything. These people's taste run towards philosophic subjects and literature, and they may write a book at some point in their lives. I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.